Okay, great. So now suppose you have relevance information. Uh, you, at this point, you can actually estimate everything, right? So if somebody gave you n relevant documents and then zero non-relevant documents, and you could look into the words in those documents, then you could actually estimate the PW and the QW, which you need to compute those probabilities, right? So, uh, and uh, you're working with a Bernoulli model. A Bernoulli model is word is either present or absent from a document. In that case, the probability of the word being absent or present, the way to estimate it is to count how many documents, what proportion of documents contains the word in the relevant class, what proportion of documents contains the word in the non-relevant class. So that's what you do. You say, uh, if I had n1 relevant documents and n1w of them contained the word w, then my estimate for pw, the probability that the word occurs in a randomly picked relevant document, is just the number of documents that contain w divided by the total number of documents. Right? Straightforward, max likelihood, obvious way to do it. Why do I have these guys, 0.5 and 1? I'm sorry? Yes. So uh, the reason I have them is because I have products, right? I cannot have any of the PWs or QWs equal to zero. If I do that product, the whole thing will go to zero. As soon as one of these terms is either exactly zero or exactly one, the whole, the whole product collapses. So I can't, I can't have that happen. So the way to avoid it is to make sure that your probabilities are never exactly zero and never exactly one. So you add a half to the numerator, add a one to the denominator, and that makes sure that you always bound away from zero uh, and one. So that's PW, that's QW, just counting from the data, right? So, so that's, what, that's if you have relevant examples. If you have them, very natural to estimate the probabilities. So if you don't have relevance information, it turns into a much, much hairier task. You're going to have to make more um, assumptions because you cannot just count how many relevant documents contain the word if you don't have any examples of relevant documents. Okay. So uh, here's an example of estimating uh, the classical model with relevance examples. I have five documents here. Those are the words in it. So I take the words, I count the number of occurrences in the relevant documents. So A occurs in both relevant documents, so it gets a 2. And say G doesn't occur in either of them, so it gets a 0. Uh, so that's the counts for the non-relevant set of three documents. I have two relevant, three non-relevant documents. That's what the probabilities PW look like. I'm taking 2, dividing by uh, 2, except I'm adding a half to the numerator and 1 to the denominator. So it turns into 2 and a half over 3. So uh, probabilities for the non-relevant class, the QWs. And now if I get a new document, BGH, uh, this is how you would compute the probability of relevance for that document. These are my PWs and QWs. And I do the product only over the terms in the document. Remember, we, we fought a lot to get it to this form. Right? That's what all the previous slide is, uh, the two slides back is about. Right. So we have a product that goes over the, um, over the words in D6. Uh, you just put these numbers in there, and you get some quantity. Right. So that, that would be the probability of relevance given, uh, given D6. 